Okay, let's have a look at question four. Work out g5, so that's 5 cubed minus 7 times 5 squared plus 5 minus 12. So hopefully if I type that incorrectly, minus 57. Add the derivative, bring down the power, reduce the power by 1, bring down the power, reduce the power by 1. And then solve when g, der g derivative 5 equals 6. I'll use this to find the equation of tangent at 5. So that means the slope is 6. So it's y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. What's the x1, y1? Well, we know the x1 is 5, and we know the y1 is minus 57. That's quite a negative number. I'm going to double check that. 5 cubed minus 7 times 5 squared plus 5 minus 12. Yep, minus 57. So you have y plus 57 equals 6 times x minus 5. That's y plus 57 equals 6x minus 30. So that means 6x minus y yeah. minus 87 equals 0. What an ugly looking answer. I guess so. Oh, more to it. U dash is the derivative. Using the graph, write down the value of x for which u dash, the slope is negative. Ooh. Hard to tell. Um, oh, it just says write down a value of x. Oh, thank thank, thank the whoever wrote this. I don't have to try the okay. So I just have to pick any value over on the right here, like, for example, 8. On the diagram above, draw a tangent at the point 4, 2, and use this tangent you draw to work out an estimate for the value of u dash 4. Okay, a 4, 2, a tangent. Yeah. Ooh. 